Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel and finally the OnePlus 2 is ready for our lag or no lag test. Now those of you who follow me, you must have seen the lag or no lag series of videos on the LG G4 and like I promised guys in those videos that uh, once I get more phones, every now and then I will pick a phone up and I will put it through this lag or no lag test. Uh, this phone by the way has the Snapdragon 810 version 2.1 along with 4 gigs of RAM. There's also a 3 gig version on the OnePlus 2 but this is the 4 gig version. So guys as you know in my videos, I always put the phone under stress, I'll play games, play music, uh, open the browser, check email, the regular day-to-day -day stuff with as much speed as I can just to put the phone under stress and see if you can somehow slow this phone down. By the way, this, the specs that I told you earlier, they are the top of the end specs money can buy at this point of time. There's nothing better than Snapdragon 810 out there and no phone has more than 4 gigs of RAM so the expectations on the OnePlus 2 are really high. So guys, without wasting any more time, let's quickly do this and see how the OnePlus 2 performs. Okay, now let's play some music. Playing game along with the music at the same time. Let's have a look and see how long it takes. So it's playing music and it's also playing game at the same time. It'll be a good test for the OnePlus 2.
Okay, let's get out of this now and play another game. Uh, let's play Real Racing 3. So far, no hiccups. Taking a bit of time, obviously, but um, not too bad. No crashes and no issues so far. Okay, so let's get out of this again, go back into the game champions that we left, see how it quickly resumes it, there we go. Let's go quickly back into re again, where we left, there we go. Playing music and switching between different apps and different games and so far seems to be alright to me no issues whatsoever so let's just get out of this again and do some of the tasks A bit of slowing down on the browser side. It's not as smooth as it is normally on the LG G3, but I think uh, the few more OT updates that should be solved. Just about right, I would say. I just put it on the, the desktop side on the GSM Arena, just to put a bit more pressure on it. Yeah, rendering is okay. Need a bit of improvement, I believe. Every time should be alright. Most people should be more than enough, anyway. I pressed the home button, it's taken about two seconds. A bit of lag there. It's all done down to the hardware, it's down to the Oxygen OS, I think. It needs a bit more refinement. Like I said, it's had, the phone I've had three OT updates so far. But uh, with more updates, hopefully, Oxygen OS will improve. Uh, it's a very young OS, and it needs to obviously mature a bit. It's not as efficient as, say, Sun Engine Mod or um, the LG's UI or the HTC Sense, but it's slowly getting there. But the phone is quick enough for most people, and it should be alright, I think, from what you can see in the video. It takes a while at times, but it's like I said, down to the optimizations of uh, um, Oxygen OS, not down to the hardware. I see the occasional lag here and there, but nothing major.
seems to be doing okay so far. A bit of hiccup here and there I would say, but nothing too substantial so far so good. So now guys that we have tested it, let's get through to the RAM management side of things and see how it goes. So let's get into apps first of all. Uh, it's not, it won't be the app permissions, I think it will be apps and let's have a look at the RAM management side of things and see after playing so many games and doing bits and bobs how the RAM is holding up so far and the thing I'll be interested obviously is in free RAM as you can see uh, it's not too bad 4 gigs of RAM in total we have 1.5 gigs of free RAM which is very very nice not bad at least it's a lot better than Samsung uh, Samsung phones which obviously tend to choke at times with hardly any free RAM left but on the Galaxy Note 5 things have definitely improved and it has a lot more better uh, RAM management than we had on the S6 and the S6 Edge. So the RAM management things on the OnePlus 2 seems to be decent enough, not too bad, with about 1.5 gig of RAM free and not too bad at all. So guys, uh, this was OnePlus 2 put to some rigorous testing um, and I think it's done pretty decent so far. A bit of hiccup here and there um, on, on the Chrome and on the browsing side. Uh, rendering on the pages is at times a bit slower and it's not the best but uh, like I said, it's more or less down to OnePlus releasing more OT updates and because Oxygen OS is quite young that's why um, it will take time to mature and hopefully eventually uh, at some point it might be matching uh, uh, the HTC Sense uh, and the LG UI Optimus UI and the rest so guys uh, like always if you like my video please uh, give it a thumbs up uh, any questions please fire them in the comment section and like always guys please subscribe as it helps the channel and myself and I will see you in the next video